All right, all right, all right. The MCU version of Blade continues to appear to be in a really hard place right now. As more and more news and leaks come out since the time the movie was announced until they already shot or already did principal photography up until now. If we take a step back forward here and kind of take a look at where it all began, I mean, Blade was initially held back by the pandemic and then the director changes and production struggles carried on into the summer of 2023 with the WGA and the SAG after strikes. The first director was Bassam Tariq, and then the second director was Jan Demange, or Jan Demange. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but trust me, y'all, I got the right directors, right? And now the latter, if you will, or Mr. Demange is the director that's now on board, right, to bring Blade to life. But Blade has already had about three or four different release dates already. First, it was announced back in 2019, back when the MCU, you know what I mean, was, a, was in a good place, like we just got Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, and then Black Panther was introduced. But then Blade was subsequently pushed back into 2023. And then during that time again, you had the WGA and the SAG After Strikes that affected a lot of different movies. Like the SAG After and the WGA Strikes affected a lot of movies, and MCU was not immune to that. So Blade was also affected by those strikes, and then it led to a new release date from 2023 to now 2025, which will either make it the final movie of Phase 5 or one of the first movies in Phase 6. However you want to slice it, y'all, but essentially Deadpool and Wolverine is the only MCU movie we're getting here in 2024. Now, Marsha Hala Ali, a fantastic actor, and when it broke through, y'all, when the news first came out that he was going to be, you know what I mean, picking the mantle up of Blade since Wes has done it, which Wesley did a fantastic job, essentially between Blade 1 and 2. 3 might be a guilty pleasure for you, might be for me too, but for the most part, Wes held it down with the Blade character in the early 90s or mid 90s all the way up to the early 2000s. And here, Marsha Hala Ali was getting ready to take it over. And so in 2019, I was hyped. Most comic book fans, we were hyped, y'all. We were like, yo, this is going to be a good casting. Anybody's going to pick up the mantle. And we, Blade's been desperately missing here, y'all. With the, with the introduction of Black Panther, it was also time, you know what I mean, to introduce another obscure or not as popular character that can also, you know, build upon his own franchise, that being the Blade franchise. But now again, as the news comes out between the shakeups and the director changes and the script changes and them, you know, nearly having to shoot the whole entire movie because it just didn't sit well with 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 viewers, with uh, pre-screenings and what have you. I mean, this led to Marvel having to shake it up once again. And even from pushing it back from 2023, I mean, a movie that's been cooking for four or five years now, six years now. We're almost at a point to where it's set to come out next year, y'all, and we haven't even got a trailer yet. Nothing official over on the Blaze side. This also could spell an issue with the movie, being that it's had so many director changes. It's had so many script changes. Marsha Hala Ali is actually, you know what I mean, having issues with the directors and the writers and Marvel themselves behind the scenes because he's trying to do this character right. He's trying to do diligence by the Blade character. He knows how important this is for many a comic book fans out there in the community. And while Marsha Hala Ali is trying to do his thing by bringing the character Blade to life and into the MCU and back to the big screens for the first time in nearly like 15 years, I'm actually a little concerned with the direction that Marvel is even going to go with by introducing vampires into the MCU because Blade is coming at a time where it's so late and we're so vested into the MCU. A lot of things have happened. We've had the blank or we had the blip. We've had, you know what I mean? We had the uh, the Chitauri invasion in New York, the Sokova Accord, so many different things that happened, surface level and even cosmic level, that it's going to be hard for, I guess, Blade and even the street level villains and characters to kind of ignore. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how are they going to introduce vampires and where have vampires been this whole entire time? They kind of might have had this opportunity to introduce vampires in the Eternals. And Marsha Ali apparently had a cameo or shot a few scenes for that movie and had a cameo at the end of it, but it was pulled at the last second. And the cameo or the end scene, the post credit scene that's in Eternals now, slight spoiler alert, but that movie's been out for a while now, y'all, come on. But, you know what I mean? Slight spoiler alert at the end of Eternals, 
the guy or the actor who was supposed to play the Black Knight, who he's talking to is supposedly or supposed to be Blade, but we can't confirm or deny that. So we're just going to have to go with that's just conjecture, right? That's, that's just a guess, or at least we're just kind of hopeful. And we were supposed to maybe have seen Blade way before his movie came out in 2025, kind of similar to how Marvel or the same thing Marvel did with T'Challa or the Black Panther by introducing him as Silver War and then giving him a solo movie. So yeah, I'm a little nervous to see the, the narrative or the story the direction that Marvel goes in with vampires. I mean, if memory serves me correct, and even when I went back and watched the OG, the animated, the X-Men animated series from mid 90s, there wasn't even a mention or a hint at vampires even existing in the, in the mid 90s, or at least for the X-Men during that time, let alone the mention of the character Blade. This whole entire time we've ignored vampires and now Marvel is just going to throw them at us with the Blade movie. I'm kind of, you know, apprehensive and I'm, I'm approaching the Blade movie, you know, cautiously here, y'all. Like to, to keep it a buck, to keep it a hundo, like I am going to approach the Blade movie kind of like with a pole, especially until we can get that first trailer that we haven't even gotten yet. We haven't gotten anything, just bad news, essentially, from the, uh, the Blade camp or everything that's going on with the Blade movie. I wouldn't say... The director, Jan Demange, I wouldn't say he's an experienced director. He's been on a couple different projects, nothing too big or major, less, at least nothing I've necessarily seen, but nothing too big or major. And this, you know, likely he would have probably been his biggest project he's worked on. So it's even kind of hard to, you know what I mean, to ascertain how his approach or what he's going to bring to the table in terms of action and plot and narrative and direction and, and just everything that brings together a movie and then everything that brings together an MCU movie and then everything that needs to come together to kind of do justice by the character Blade. And who's to say the direction that Marvel goes in is one we're all anticipating. They might switch it up all together. I think that Blade is going to be more of like a sheriff-like figure, kind of like how he is in modern comics. He kind of necessarily doesn't hunt vampires. He goes after the bad ones and try to protect the good ones, whatever that means. But that seems like a direction Marvel is going to want to go in following the trend of some of their recent phase movies here, say in phase four and even in phase five. So should Marvel even release Blade at this point? Should they, you know, just throw it all away and, you know, what I mean, start from the beginning? They kind of already did that if you consider each time they pushed the movie back it was because they had to change something major they can kind of hide behind the strikes if they want to and the strikes probably did play a large you know and key role to the movie being delayed but i'm pretty sure marvel took that to their advantage regardless and kind of seized on that opportunity to give the movie more time to make it better or to not necessarily make it another box office failure but that's all i got for this one y'all it's been your boy lab if you haven't yet like this video for me on your way in, on your way out. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for us with the notification bell turned on. And that's all I got. But I do hope to catch you on all the next one. So until then, be easy.